Hey everyone, have a high here, be another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. As I normally do, we have new banners coming out really soon, and we want to find out what are your chances to pull the two brand new LRs that's going to be dropping in the 300 million download celebration part two. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So, of course, these banners will be will be a top legendary summoning banner. Thus, it will have uh, two featured LRs on the banner. This is going to be LR Krillin and Gohan. And then, of course, the LR Vegeta and Exchange Goku. So, again, interestingly enough, uh, you know, I went over these units here. They're going to be good but uh, nothing groundbreaking, right? So nothing like the uh, uh, the $350 million celebration part one units, and we figured as much, right? These are generally gonna be secondary units, and they're actually gonna be 130% leads as well. So um, very interesting why they did it that way. But uh, we, you know, we have the uh, type advantages that's basically opposite of the $350 million celebration part one. You had uh, extreme AGL with Frieza, and then you have super AGL, with Krillin and Gohan, and then now you have a Super uh, Int with the Super Saiyan Goku, and now you have the Extreme Int that exchanged into a Super Int. So anyway, uh, if you want to see that breakdown, go ahead and check out uh, my video on that, um, the previous video from this video. So anyway, let's talk about the banners in of itself, and what are your chances, right? So everyone always asks me, how many Dragon Stones do I need? You probably don't want to summon on this banner unless you are welling out or you're you know, pay to win or your individual like me that wants to make content, things of that nature. If you're free to play, legendary banners as well as top legendary summoning banners are luxury, luxury banners. So here are your chances here. There are 12 featured units on uh, this upcoming banner here. Thus, you're going to have a 8.03% chance per multi to get one or the other. Now, if you only are gonna look for one unit, so if you just want the Vegeta or you just want the Krillin and Gohan, you're looking more like a 4% chance. So uh, that 4% chance is much, much worse, and that's why regular legendary summoning banners uh, we recommend not to summon on, but 8% uh, chance, you know, you're looking closer to like a Dokkan Fest type of uh, exclusive, but uh, it's it's a lot better, right? Especially if you can get one or two. Now, when you get one or the other, your then chance then drops down to that 4%, even worse. Um, so usually what I do is I say, okay, what's your better chance? Basically, do you have a better than 50-50% chance and how many Dragon Stones is it going to take for you to actually do that? So in order for you to get a better than 50-50 chance, better than uh, a coin flip, uh, you're going to have to use nine multis, right? 450 Dragon Stones will give you a 52.9% probability chance. Yes, I know it's 8% every time you're going to be doing a multi anyway, but it's a probability chance if you're going to be summoning more and more, you're going to have over a coin flip to get one or the other, right? I'm not saying you're going to get both. It's one or the other with 450 Dragon Stones. So keep that in mind, right? If you are trying to save Dragon Stones, this is going to be a coin flip chance for you to get this one of these units uh, at 450. Now, uh, if you want a better than that chance, like, you know, uh, I say a 75% chance, this is where the shaft comes from, right? So if you can't get uh, one or the other unit in 850 dragon stones which is 17 multis here then um then yeah you are in the shaft arena and you should be starting to cry and do all that good stuff so uh you can probably tell how badly i was crying when i had to go over you know 3000 plus um dragon stones for the super saiyan ink goku right so the lr uh, but in this case scenario, yeah, 17 multis uh, is equated to 850 dragon stones. And if you don't get one or the other, then that's when you can say, um, yeah, I'm getting shafted. And hopefully that's not where I'm going to be when I summon for these units here. So I'm going to be summoning. Of course, I always do. I always try to get one. Uh, but for, you, for those individuals out there that are saving dragon stones or they're not buying, just stay away. Scary stuff right here, right? It's, it's only a 75% chance to get... Uh, with 850 dragon stones anyway there is some benefit for summoning on legendary you know legendary summoning banners of course you're going to get gold coins and you're able to purchase lrs uh, in that feature but of course we have non-featured lrs on this banner as well right so uh the beneficial the 
other benefit of summoning on this banner. And if you're looking for a particular unit here on JP, you have 35 options. So you have 35 options on JP. On Global, on the other hand, we're two behind. So when we have 33, we don't have the Goku Piccolo and we don't have the Janemba. So, uh, so it's a little bit of a Global Shaft, I guess, depending on how they're going to you know, put the featured or unfeatured, the amounts of units that's going to be on there. We'll actually take a look at that um, kind of right now and show you kind of the percentage difference uh, when it when it boil, all boils down to when we actually summon. So I'm going to guess, because the last top legend in summoning banner, we had about 244 units on the banner. I'm just going to guess that uh, we're going to assume 250 SSRs on that non-featured uh, um side of things so 250 ssrs non-featured we would want an lr which is 35 units so you have an 18.27 percent chance per multi to get one of these lrs right so uh, depending on what you want to choose that's different uh this is one uh any any of the 35 you have an 18 percent chance if you're looking for one it's going to be like a point something zero percent chance so uh any lrs you're getting per multi 18 percent is pretty good right it's pretty good um of course double rates are a lot better now if you're looking at the global side right go back to the global side with 33 units here then uh, we're assuming again 250 ssrs you have a little bit slightly of a lower chance at 17.271 percent chance per multi now, I, what they can do to balance this out is just to have less SSRs uh, on the banner, and that should at least you know alleviate a little bit of the discrepancy of not having two LRs that you can summon for JP versus uh, uh, versus global here. So that is some level of benefit and, and reprieve when you start thinking about you know the uh, this percent chance, right? The eight percent chance and 50% chance if you're using nine multis for for this you are going to also have you know a chance to pull you know one of these units here on JP or on global and having a 17 or 18% chance is pretty nice now if they add more SSRs you will have a lower chance right so that's you know i think i, I calculated like 270 you had like a 1% chance less you had like 16% here and then you had like 17% here if it had 270 SSRs on there now all these units aren't all that great either, right? LRs are LRs, but there's some LRs that I would say that are better than others. So I just kind of highlighted a few, just in my opinion, right? That are some that you, I don't say must have, but they're gonna be, they're very useful to have, right? Um, definitely the easy A's, except for Gohan. <laughs> I left Gohan out. Uh, I know I should have probably just gave a little star there for uh, Ink Gohan, the easy A there, but you know, I don't know. He's kind of he's kind of mid, and I think a lot of people feel that way as well. But uh, anyway, I think you know Kellen Cliff is still a useful unit. There's a, there's a lot of um, things that you can use with her, and she's very useful. The Easy A Majin Vegeta is beneficial as well. Of course, Jiren I think is pretty solid. I could have definitely did a star on the Super Saiyan two uh, Gohan there. He's really good. His just defense is not as strong as some other units here. Of course, the Easy A of LR Friku. If you don't have LR Friku, that's definitely a unit that you definitely would want. Uh, Broly's pretty good. I should have actually. What the heck? I didn't star Broly Tech Broly. Are you kidding me? Let me fix that. Right, we got to start Tech Broly. Um, so Tech Broly, absolutely there. I think also Goku Black. If you haven't got Goku Black, his Easy A is, is is up and coming. Right, him and Physical Trunks. I'm not gonna star those two until they actually get Easy A. Um, actually, I didn't even you know highlight any of the int units on here. Uh, MVP 17, not really necessary. Uh, you know, God Koo, he's all right. Um, you know, if you're free to play, I think, uh, you know, Go Punks is definitely useful. Rose, you know, unless they do something different with the uh, Realm of Gods extreme side or um, they do something with, you know, his his story arc. I don't know. He's he's OK as well. Bojack's really good. I should have probably maybe start him, but I, I think he's not, you know, all that necessary at this point in time. Uh, Minosha and Tapion is uh, low key. They're they're really good. It's just certain situations. So I just still left that off. UI Goku, I think very very good unit. Um, Turles, of course, very good. Easy A Broly, yes, absolutely. Angel Vegeta, you know, yeah. once again certain situations. Janemba, I think fantastic unit if you can pick him up on, of course, on JP only, uh, which is the most recent LR. 
And then that's pretty much about it. That's are kind of my highlights if you were targeting certain LRs. If you're brand new to the game, you kind of don't know what you're getting. Any of these are going to be fine, right? Because they're going to have opportunities to EZA and things of that nature. And they're valuable units to have. But uh, more so than others, in my opinion. You know, Let me know what you guys think are the more, most valuable uh, non-Dokkan Festival exclusive LRs. And uh, can you know, comment below. Let me know if I'm wrong. You're like, no, you know, def absolutely you should have uh, Android 17. You know, things of that nature. So I'll be more than happy to hear that but anyway yes good luck on summoning for non-featured here and then summoning for your top legendary lr krillin and gohan and uh, vegeta slash goku so with that if you are new to my channel like subscribe comment below do all that good stuff and uh, happy summoning good luck to you all keep on dokani we'll catch you next time later